Thomas Joshua Ferris here of Atlas Real Estate and Investment. We are sitting down with Ari Lovato from Honeycomb Home Design. Hi. How did you start your business? I got started, I for some reason knew what I wanted to do right in high school. Yeah. And I, um, my best friend's mom was an interior designer and so I kind of saw her with her magazine clippings and her samples everywhere and I just was like, oh, well, that looks fun. Yeah. So I, right after high school, I went to design school down in Los Angeles, and that's kind of where I started. And so um, I was born and raised here, and moved to LA, downtown LA, and got a huge culture shock just from being there, but also in school. And so I learned um, a lot of the principles of design. I got my associates there, and then I moved back home, and I worked for my best friend's mom for three years, just kind of as her assistant and got my bachelor's degree in business because I always knew that I wanted to start my own company. I just wasn't sure when it would happen. And you know, several years later, it's now been three years that I've had Honeycomb full time. And so it's been awesome. What is your favorite part about having your own business? Like what's the, the, the value add for you? I would say, um, you know, it's very true when you own your own business, you are working 80 hours for yourself, so you don't have to work 40 hours for someone else hands down the truth. I've never worked harder in my life, but I am so happy to do it because it's for me and it's um, it's very fulfilling. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you see all of your hard work pay off. It doesn't take a long time sometimes, but it does. And so um, the interactions with my clients, you know, with um, colleagues, that is what really makes it worthwhile to run my own company. It's nice when the buck stops with you too. Yeah. If a client has something out of the ordinary, you can yeah. make it happen. Yeah, and I mean, it's just, you know, the, in, the designer's typical nature is a yes person. You are a people pleaser, you want to make people happy, and so that's just my nature personality-wise. I think it works well, um, but yeah, it's, it's just working with my client, helping them see something that they can't, but I can, mm -hmm. and then making it all actually happen. What's your favorite part of being a designer? Is it when you first interact with the client or when you go through the process and you see the finished product? I would say um, obviously the end the end reveal, showing the client that you're not crazy and you actually know what you're talking about. Actually turned out well. Yeah, and they <laughs> doubted you whatever, mid remodel they want to change their flooring and they talked them out of it. So that part obviously mm -hmm. is great. But I also like the challenge because you know when I initially meet a client that hasn't worked with a designer before, they're always a little hesitant. And then that initial meeting when you nail it and you're like, okay, I got you, you know, I know what you want. This is what you want. And they're like, I've never even looked that bit this, you know? So that is the part I really enjoy. It doesn't always happen that way, but I would say like 95% of the time. I'd say 95% is a yeah. pretty good percentage. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I can kind of determine what they're wanting, how to realistically make that happen. I think when you're when you're not only talking selling, so if somebody's looking to sell a home in a relatively short amount of time, say two years or something, they want to live in it and have it be livable. But I think a huge value add, and one of the reasons why partnering up with you makes so much sense, is when you are walking through a buyer, myself walking through a home with a buyer, and I'm able to paint the picture and have you come in and really make that happen, right? So. You, so many here, so many homes here on the Central Coast, or, or say older homes, that might need some remodeling, and you know, having you be able to step in and go, okay, yeah, there is huge potential here. Yeah. Not only painting the picture, but also making that happen so that they can have a home that's pretty much brand new after they after you walk through it and done your magic. Yeah, it's um, it's an overwhelming process to even comprehend. Even in the initial meeting, I get overwhelmed. You know, because if we're talking about all of these things that they want, we're looking at the current state of the house, their budget. It's a lot to take in. But having hiring somebody and bringing somebody that's a professional that hasn't done it before will help you get through the process and will help streamline and expedite that process. Because if you try and take something like that on yourself, you're just going to be frustrated, mad, spend more money than you want to. It makes a big difference to have somebody who's a professional. It does. Do We're a marriage well counselor sometimes, <laughs> so, you know, I add that to my resume. Yeah, right. You know, all in a day's work. Yeah, right. I'd save but it's a marriage true. and save a home. 
Yeah, you want to hear really both good. sides, and sometimes just hearing it from a third party is like, okay, you're right, honey, get whatever you want. Yeah. Basically. Yeah, basically. Yeah. That's, yeah. How, it is. that's <laughs> how it is. <laughs> well, that's good to know. Right? Yeah. Uh, how, how it's going to uh, start, and then you, you know how it's going to end. Yeah. You just help through that process. Just help them yeah. through it. <laughs> help them through it. Cool. Well, it's awesome to, to partner with you and have yeah. a chance to sit down and really learn about your your business and how you started. And sit down in your office. It's an awesome, awesome office. Thank and you. Uh, we look forward to working with you more and just continue to add value to our, our clients and uh, having you sit down for our meetups and get really more in depth for the remodels and really what makes sense. Thank you that value adds. Yeah. Thank you awesome. for having me. All right, guys. Well, Hope you found that interesting. Uh, we look forward to talking to you soon, and uh, that's that. Yeah, that's that. That's that. Cool. That's a good way to end it. <laughs> Bye.